Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Haris Khan. Today in this lecture, we are going to learn that how can we upload our Next.js application to the Wordcell. So let's get started. We have to just follow a few steps. Like the very first thing, we should have an account uh, in the Wordcell. Like if you log into the Wordcell by just uh, simply logging with Google or either given a uh, sign up process. So this is your dashboard. You would see all the ifs. Uh, deployed here now here we will do what we will deploy another here the very first thing uh, you need is to uh, install Wurzel globally here so for that you should type here npm install minus g Wurzel so it will do what it will install Wurzel globally so I have already did this so that's why I'm not pressing enter so after installing the Wurzel globally, you should to type another command Wurzel login. So if you type the Wurzel login and press enter, you will be authenticated. Like uh, you will be asked to enter your email. When you enter your email, uh, your email like we have a two process here. In some cases, it will authenticate with your browser by just uh, you log in to the in the browser and you will just press there yes authenticate so if you come back to the terminal here to the vs code you will see that you logged in successfully or after entering the email here you will be asked to enter your password so this is the simple process uh, for the sign up here in the terminal so after login to the Wurzel, the very first thing you should need to just type a Wurzel, and everything will be done just by asking a few questions so let me repeat the process as well. The first thing you should install uh, Wurzel CLI uh, by running npm install minus g Wurzel and then you have to Wurzel login and after that you will be asked to enter email and password. The third step is to just type Wurzel and this is what we are doing to deploy the project. If you press, uh, the, uh, you enter the Wurzel, you will be asked that set up and deploy. So I would say yes. Another date uh, you will be asked, for example, I have two like gifted tutor is my account and another one is i have a team with the name MakeTech. so i would go for my account like i i want to upload it i want to deploy it into the gifted tutors project so i would say yes and link to the existence so i would say no name i would keep it as it and located path is already i would say that's fine and i do not want to change these changes so this is this is what you know the project has been uh, you know will be deployed in a while and just we have to wait for the building and we will come here and just refresh this so in our projects here you would see this project as well so let's wait for the building let's take a couple of minutes not more than that it's a very easy process so it's done you can see here the inspect url here and the production URL. If you click on this link, you would also access this. But this link is just for this build. So for the generic, we have to just come here and refresh the page. You can see just a minute ago, the scholarship 7. Warsaw, uh, is a URL for this. If I click on this, uh, you would see my app deployed. I think I have forgotten to see you the local version, which I have run by running npm run dev. And this is my local project that I was run but now when I deployed it you would see it here yes you can see on this URL this is what I you know deployed okay so whenever you do some changes uh, in your app what would you do for that you should just type here versal double dash port and that will do what that will push your new changes to that particular link and for that you have to just come here and after build succeed successfully you should to just refresh the page here yeah i didn't you know do any changes here but just to uh, tell you and show you how you can type this and what will be the consequence so after successfully building you should come here and refresh the page and your changes will be reflected here. So hope you will learn more from this video. So be connected for such a good uh, tutorials. Till that, love is.